today on Great Day Houston. Summer's almost over, but what have you done to your skin? We're repairing summer skin damage that'll help you look and feel 10 years younger. Live from the Channel 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. Okay, and then the rest of the show, we have a great one. Um, Labor Day weekend on the way, and some of you are thinking, maybe I'm going to go out to the pool, probably to the beach, who knows. Well, you know, summer, that's really summer's end, but, you know, us Houstonians, we get to have summer for another eight months. Um, so maybe that's a little skin damage that you've uh, accrued over this summer. I can tell you, one of our producers, he's right over there, he's like a brown bear. Every time he comes back from his boating trip, I'm like, Chris, you're a whole different shade. And he's like, oh, no, you're just getting used to, you know, me being tan. I'm like, no, 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 you are a whole different shade. But anyway, we have a little surprise for him later in the show. Um, we're going to be making you look longer, younger because all that skin damage that you may have accrued, we said, well, we're going to show you how to get rid of it. Laconi's are here. And actually, Dana Laconi has an unbelievable picture of herself on their website. And this is a woman who I love who will put a picture of herself with no makeup on and all this sun damage. And then, of course, she fixes her own skin and then puts the after picture on. you got to be a real woman to be able to do that. No makeup on. I know. I love that. Coming up, you've had your fun in the sun. Now we're showing you the damage you've done. Everything from sunspots to dark spots become a thing of the past. We're repairing your summer sun skin damage. All right, maybe next time you'll try a little sunscreen. I love that. I like my bacon well done, and apparently... <laughs> So does this one. Okay, so if you've spent the last few months enjoying your summer outside, you've probably had damaged your skin as well. So fear not, help is on the way. Please welcome Richard and Dana Laconi from the Institute of anti aging Okay, so we have you all propped behind all of these lovely pictures because they can really actually show you the damage, first of all, which is terrifying, and then also show you how you can fix it, which is amen to that. Yes. Um, and in Houston, we can get sun just walking you know, our dog, or, I mean, this is like, we don't even go out to sit in the sun and we can get it. Right. So um, one of the first things that I think is really interesting is um, the the Obagi line that you guys run. And you, you told me a lot about this, like almost hinted like Whitney, the Obagi line. Maybe yes. you should use it. it but um, it, chemical peels, basically. Right, well, this is an at-home procedure that mm -hmm. you can do. Like this patient here, she had a lot of brown spots. She used to lay out in the sun regularly, and, and we put her on the ho at-home program. There's like six steps. She does it every night, mm -hmm. and this is her skin six weeks later. Without any injections or anything? Oh. Nothing. Really? Yeah. So you just have to, be you have to be religious about it. You have to go home. You have to make sure you do it. And this is st stuff that you could buy at your office, but we could take home That's and right. do yourself. So if you have a busy schedule, things like that, there's, right. a, there's a whole line right here. Yeah, the it's principal it's ingredient is the Retin-A. That's the only scientifically proven uh, medication mm -hmm. that will actually help repair sun damage. Helps ah, repair okay, collagen. So like, is that Renova or Retin-A? Renova is another okay. brand. Okay. Tritinoin. Tritinoin is the actual substance. He always comes up with like the fancy yeah. words and tells us. And, and, and Dana and I are like, yeah, yeah, so does it make us look younger? That stuff. Okay, good. <laughs> good, good, good. And um, here's a picture of Richard. Um, mm -hmm. This was, he had a lot of sun damage. We're sailors and never wore sunscreen. Um, we did a Levulon photofacial on him. And mm -hmm. look at the difference. That was one week later. And here he is two weeks later. Oh, wow. He's always been, he, wow. he's always the guinea pig, this one. <laughs> You know what, I will say though, there is something to say for, for um, you all that try it on yourselves first. Because Absolutely. why would you ever put it on a patient before you hadn't tried it yourself? And I, I really appreciate that, that you all do that. And even though well, It's nice having these machines, we get to try well, it. Well, everything that we do in our clinic are things that we needed ourselves, so mm -hmm. we implemented well, Things it. you needed yourself. <laughs> well, Dana, you have a different idea of what you need, because you're beautiful. But she's oh, like, oh, you. see this little, I mean, it's like this big, I want to get rid of this. That's but me. then, boom. The next day, it's gone. <laughs> um, okay, so what's the and next this one? this is mine. I had a lot of... Um, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of sun damage as well. It didn't take me anywhere. I'm sorry. And um, 
and I did a chemical pill with a photofacial. I've had several different treatments, but this removed a lot of the brown spots and precancerous type cells because we got a lot of damage again, saline without wearing sunscreen. And okay, so, so wait a minute. I wanted to I Leg wanted to bit. take a look at that picture back there because is that kind of what we how we saw the the sun damage? Yep, that's a UV photograph. If we can, that shows I don't know if we could get that picture, but. Um, that one, yeah. That's the one I was telling you about the top of the show. That's Dana. And she shows the sun damage that she actually has beneath her skin, which is wow. That shows all well, the melanin. Mm -hmm. it's and I've repaired it, but if I did another UV photograph, it looks just the same. The damage is done. It's, okay. it's there. So forever. what you actually see on the outside is what you can repair. That's right. But that's what you're about to see. That's what's coming up. That's, that's what's it. underneath. Yeah. Oh, good fun. Okay, so now I like this last one because I really want to talk about um, the good and the bad of this thing because I've, I've experienced the bad, a photofacial. So come on out here, Sherry. This is one of their patients, and um, she has had a photofacial. First of all, Sherry, tell me what you came to the Laconis with and, and, and what you wanted done. Well, I've spent a lot of time out in the sun. I've been a lifeguard, always a sun worshiper, mm -hmm. and I had a lot of broken, I guess, capillaries on my neck and then mm -hmm. brown spots on my chest. And so I came to them to ask them, you know, what we could maybe do to, to improve that. And no one said to you growing up, oh, blonde hair, fair skin, light eyes, get out of the sun. I certainly should have, yeah. <laughs> well, my, my father was always telling me to stay out of the sun, and mm -hmm. he actually um, wanted me to use sunscreen, but I never listened to him. I was a lifeguard and just beat myself up in the sun. Well, you look great now. So what happened? What'd you do? Oh, we just did a photo facial, a series of photo facials on her, and she's still in the process. She still needs a couple more, mm -hmm. but um, it totally removed all of her brown spots, red spots. She still has a little. So this bit is the of before redness. and after, Sherry. This is yes, your before and me. after. Okay, so this, these are the broken capillaries you're talking about right here. Yeah, that looks really good. And yeah, this is after. A lot yeah, the of upper chest, this is on her chest is a real problem area for women. In fact, mm -hmm. mine and the backs like of the well. hands, because the they the hands. don't get any protection. People right. tend to protect their face, uh -huh. but they forget about this a lot. And yeah, of course, our whole with fair skin, like uh, <laughs> she. Uh, I'm, I'm looking too. Right. The back of your hands. Of course, no, wait. there's Richard's hands again. Oh, Richard's hands always. <laughs> you, this is what I, I have a question about, though, because I went and had this done, not by you all, mm -hmm. but I had it done on my chest because I, I grew up playing volleyball on the um, beach. Well, I came back with a checkerboard, checkerboard right. for seven months. Right. So right. what Too happened? Much and, tans. and how do, I had just gone to, to LA and been out in the sun, and the woman who was doing it said, "Oh, no problem." I, you know, she really wanted to do it, and then. For six months, I literally, people thought it, it was like some new tattoo, like a henna <laughs> tattoo on my chest. It was literally like dot, 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 dot. It, you can play checkers. Well, sure. you really need to be out of the sun three weeks before. Let your, you know, the tan In some go cases, down. more if you're, if you're someone who really tans well, mm -hmm. you know. So the idea is you want to get the most contrast between the brown spots and the background skin. Okay. And then it works the best. Then it works the best. Yeah. So I need to say to my, if I'm going to go to you all, I need to tell you when was the last time I've been in the sun. Absolutely. It's imperative. They should ask. Because those are, <laughs> yes, yeah. because mm -hmm. it, I mean, it created a really big, right. I thought it was going to be scarred for life, but, yeah. but, um. And this is a really good diagram uh, showing the actual, Richard, whatever. Well, this basically is a diagram showing that when you're out there, you know, mm -hmm. cooking like the bacon. Right. These are the rays that are that are doing the damage. The, the key take home here is that mm -hmm. the sunscreens for years basically only protected you against these, mm -hmm. which caused the redness. So these were the rays that were coming in and causing all the, the photo aging mm -hmm. and, and you know what damage to your the skin. But we got no protection for them. Uh -huh. And like the neat study that showed that it, sun, uh, skin cancer is actually highest in people who use sunscreens. What's that about? It doesn't mean the sunscreen doesn't work. It just means that they were getting a false sense of protection for all those years, ah. thinking that they were these rays were coming through. Now, the new ones are what they call broad spectrum. And if there's anything you remember from this, it's to pick a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you from these two, because these are the ones who make you look old and give you skin cancer both. Ooh, broad spectrum sunscreen. Sherry, right. These right are here. two examples, <laughs> like, you know, it'll say UVA, UVB. Okay, so that's Neutrogena. So we could get that. There's at, other brands. Uh huh. At the know. at the grocery store. Right. That's good. So we just need to make broad spectrum. That's what we need to look and for. There's a couple of new ones coming out. They're going to be pretty revolutionary too. Oh, good. Now you all brought um, a little gift. I told you that yes. our producer, uh, Chris, spends a little too much time. Come on out here. Come, come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> have some, please have a hat. I yes. said I have the handheld. Oh. You see. They have been trying to get me for uh -huh. like the longest time, <laughs> and I knew something was happening before this. What is this? This is a fabulous <laughs> shirt. Uh, what, what did I get? Oh, I know, but look, he looks like a brown bear. See? <laughs> Sunscreen. Yes. Hello. But also, I just wanted to say we missed Chris's birthday.
birthday. We missed his birthday. We were on vacation, so. Oh, oh, you will do not make up. Oh, wait, but you can't put that on your nose. <laughs> We missed your birthday, so happy birthday, Chris. And uh, I want to thank the little ponies for being here, and Jerry, peace out. <laughs> and we can, we can get you right there on the screen, anti-agentinstitute.com. Anti you guys have a gift for the audience, which oh. is always nice. We love that. We have so four gifts. Four gifts. And I'm going to give those away in the break. You're going to give those away in the break, and I want to thank you guys anyway. Thank you so much. Chris always thank produces you, their segments, so we had to get him. We'll get him better next time, but the vengeance that you give to Chris will then come back to you tenfold. So that's why we just did a nice little thing, and we included the little ponies so he can't get back at them. <laughs> Stick with us. We'll be right back, everybody.